I'm Shane Williams and this is the Rugby World Cup Daily. Boom. On Rugby World Cup Daily we love hearing from you so make sure that you tag us in everything you want us to feature and also tell us what you want to see more of in the comments section. Today we're celebrating the fact that Georgia met Uruguay for the first time in four years out here at Kumagaya Stadium. Okay, I'm looking for Uruguayan fans. There's an Aussie over here. Ah, oh, I'm seeing some blue jerseys. Hola, hola. Hola, Hi. hola. Are you from Uruguay? Can I watch the game? With, can I come with you? Vamos arriba. Can you teach me some more things to say? Vamos arriba. Vamos arriba. Come on. Come on. Were you at the match where they beat Fiji? Yeah. Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. Excellent match. So good. And now everyone wants to be Uruguay fans. How are we feeling? Very nervous. Nervous. I want the first cup to be over and then we'll come back. Why is it that they always seem to pull it together in a Rugby World Cup here? I think Australian teams like the tournament nature. We like tournaments. I think our players actually look at a short period of time and say, you know what, we can get up for that period of time. We've got talent. Sometimes we can't put it together over long periods of time. A short little window tends to work well. What's gone wrong in the three years between 2015 and 2019? Rugby in Australia had gone through a lot of turmoil, like not just on the field, but actually off the field. And all of that turmoil has a tendency to spill out into other areas. The players probably haven't adjusted as well. They've taken a few, they've looked to take a few soft options. We've lost a couple of players and it just chews away at the fabric. If you could, pull one player from another Rugby World Cup team into the Wallaby setup right now, who would you pick? I'd definitely pick a fly half. I think it's probably our weakest position at the moment. Probably take one of Richie Mwanga, Bowden Barrett, even Johnny Sexton. So I think I said too many, but I'd take any one of those. One. 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 Uh, Bowden Barrett. That's the word from Ron Kafer. Lots of awesome fan vibes at Kumagaya Stadium. Let's see how the fans performed over in Tokyo. Come on, Will! Come on, Will! 
Tokyo Stadium. Tokyo Stadium. And after a day when Japan lit up the Rugby World Cup, you'd think there might be a lull. But no, no. It's another massive, massive game. game. It's Australia against Wales in Pool D. Social media roundup today, we start with Milton Haig, Georgia's coach, who had a sweetie day out in Kumagaya. Guys, not missing anything, hey? Thanks, Rucked Over, for putting that one out there. Um, I'm loving Australia Wales. What a match. It's a very Welsh thing, understandably, and fine all over Japan. Alan Wynne-Jones doesn't miss tackles, says the Rugby Diary. Tackles miss Alan Wynne-Jones. Can a physics professor do a tutorial for us on how you do this flying and then the business as well, all at the same time? Martin Winters, I love this. Wales, a small country inhabited by dragons, wizards, and men who can fly and sing. Win or lose, though, this Rugby World Cup has been about how the fans have come together. Just a little car park rugby. I also played a bit of park rugby with some fans after Georgia Uruguay and then they ran after me to give me the ball as a gift. Thanks guys. I'm going to put the ball on the set. In the beginning of this tournament everyone stopped Renji for a photo. Now everyone is stopping Buxan for a photo. Here's Azu in Japan, um, representing Nakuru Rugby Football Club in Kenya. Loving to see some African representation on these Twitter streets. And four Welshmen, an Irishman and a Scot created an, a Twitter account for their tour here in Japan. I feel hot just looking at them in those outfits of theirs. Sweaty Betty! Definitely moment of the day. It's an obvious one. It's all of that smooching out on the pitch. George North and Alan Wynn sitting in a tree. I do have to laugh at Addo B Reader on Twitter saying, well, I'd kiss Alan Wynn too, I suppose. Who I suppose. Who I suppose. There's the boss man in charge since 2011. Yeah. Move, move. Uh, we question Milton Haig's choice of shot. Mm. <sighs> Number two, front man for the drop. Mm. <sighs> Line Haig's George shirt is <sighs> a piece of work <sighs> at this point. <sighs> with Shawnee and we have decided we want to make his life just a little harder. Suggest the word down in the comment section that you'd like to hear Rob Beckham and use in his post-match interview and we'll make sure the guy delivers on our promise. This is Rugby World Cup Daily. We'll bring you more of all of this awesomeness. 